Hey YouTube world, it's Ryan and Paul again from Resale CMY. Good morning. We got an awesome day of sales. We actually eclipsed uh, uh, over a thousand dollars yesterday in sales, so that was, was that awesome. Yeah, then I remember we had a nine hundred. No, we had oh, another thousand dollar day. I just can't remember when exactly. Um, but no, that's great considering a lot of weekends we do twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred. So we do a thousand dollar day. Uh, most of it's a quarter of it's in one sale, and then no, the and two, uh, half of it's in two sales. Yes. So. Uh, but then we still have some other nice ones going out. Uh, only 12 orders for $1,042.74. Those are perfect numbers. Only 12 things to ship and a yeah, lot of money. Exactly. It could have been <clears throat> 1,000 things for $42. That yeah. would have sucked. <laughs> and, and for those of you who don't know, we buy stuff at yard sales, garage sales. We buy huge collections. We put it all on eBay to make a profit. Last year we did like 191000 in gross sales. Plan on doing around there this year as well. We also have a building going in our back for a new area. Uh, my father's coming over today, and we're actually going to look at uh, running power out there and what I need to buy for to do all the electrical in the building. So as soon as we get the power out there, which should be in the next week or so, uh, I'm going to have a slab come in, or concrete guys come in and put a slab in, and then we're off. We're pretty close to being off and running as far as being out in the shop. So hopefully we see a lot of progress in that coming soon. But enough about all that stuff. We'll I'll go over something. Oh, I'm Paul's always something. hunting, though. With these collections and stuff, I'm literally texting somebody right now if they have a toy toy farm tractor collection. And I was started texting them last night, and they, I made a low ball offer, and they said, no, thank you. And I just said, thank you back. But it would have been a sweet deal. I'm always hunting. I've never yeah. stopped sourcing, ever. I mm -hmm. love it. I sit in bed and do it. We were talking about yesterday we have, like, over a year's worth of inventory. Mm-hmm. And then he went home, and then he's like, we need a year and a half's worth of inventory. <laughs> That's good, though. We need enough. fresh stuff coming in at all times. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Ready? Yeah, I'm I'll ready to the rock. the first thing here. Uh, I listed this. This is the best sale, too. Yeah, I listed this last week at auction, seven days ago, seven-day auction. This is an Aurora 1969 Aurora. Right here it says, glow-in-the-dark model. And this is the forgotten prisoner of Castle Mare. I did open this. I didn't inventory it. It looks like it's all there. It's never been put together. Whatever pieces are in there have never been touched. Still laid it all out. I wrote it down out. like that. I laid it all out. These people that are spending $308 and some change on it know what they're buying and what they're looking for. The guy that bought it actually wrote us a message right after he purchased it and wanted the nostalgia on it and where it came from. And I gave him a big long message of where it came from, the attic of a house that wasn't lived in. Thank you so much. And he was just happy to have it. And he's wicked pumped to get this. So three hundred and eight dollars thirty three cents oh. on auction plus shipping. Where'd you start at? Uh one ninety nine. Yeah, started at two hundred bucks, got bid up, and you'd seen other ones like two hundred and sixty. So that's right? the most expensive one that's ever sold. That's awesome. Two sixty was the most expensive one. That's why I started at two hundred. Yeah, and we've had other Aurora models that have done fantastic. Um, Prehistoric same, scenes and the open ones we've laid out and they'd be like, oh, it's missing this piece and this piece yeah. and that piece. Like these people that are into it know exactly what's going on. So don't hesitate with uh, older, even even lesser value ones, $15, $20 ones. It's people know what they're looking for. All right. Next here is a sperm bank. We actually got it at the same location that we picked up that uh, that model at. This is 1981 David Everything L. Page. Everything on this table came from that location. Is that true? It's true. That is true. <laughs> Except for the thing. Except for the Yeah, and that's not behind. <laughs> that's not on the table. Yeah, this uh, sperm bank here, we just listed it as sperm bank, piggy bank, adult humor. It's 1981, like I said, by David Page. $25 plus shipping. This is going overseas, so we get to spread our seed all over the yeah, whole world. Go. So that's that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> this next sale here is a Hallmark Peanuts uh snoopy fantastic figure finder and ruler <laughs> it's just a vintage ruler and figure finder there um snoopy one this one went out 13 dollars plus shipping pretty cool i didn't even know you must have listed this i don't remember yeah we listed two ziggy things that were just like that yeah yesterday, yesterday and i got a watch around yeah all right Another this one. is self-explanatory. Anyone that's seen any of our videos has seen one of these. Next item. No. This is uh, $8 plus shipping. This is actually our last one. Is it? Nice. Yeah, I thought there was two more in there, but it's uh, Bugs and Daffy Duck. Oh. So this is the last one with Bugs and Yosemite Sam. $8 plus shipping. And right next, if you've been following along, is another set. These ones, obviously the box was roached out on it, and uh, we got rid of it. But here they are, brand new. 
It's Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner. These went out ten dollars plus shipping on these two. Last one of these as well. Nice. Okay, this was actually uh, awesome find. This is the most expensive pest dispenser I've ever sold, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Unless there was like a big set of them. But this is 1978. This is Captain America. This does not have the little foot on the bottom. So it doesn't stand up as well. It does stand up, though. But, yeah, everything worked on him. He does have like a little crack right there and some scuffing and stuff. This still sold for $35 with free shipping. And probably sold within seven hours, something like that, six, yeah. seven hours. So, yeah, I'm I'm hoping there's a bunch more in the tote. Like 30. Uh, yeah, 30 or 50 <laughs> um, of different kinds. These totes, when we pull them out, guys, it's literally like Christmas for me. Ryan was, like, looking at me yesterday. He's like, you are excited, aren't you? I got love doing yeah, he it. Starts talking Look at the stuff fast. that comes out of them, though. <laughs> yeah. And you're selling $300 models that are stuffed in there, $35 go, trinket. Go in and look at some of our YouTube shirts because when we pull a new tote, We'll put like 10 items on the table and I'll just do like a YouTube short just trying to show the stuff pretty quickly because if it wasn't for that, then we'd have to wait for every single one to sell to show it. But I mean, these totes are loaded full of stuff. Loaded. All right, this next sale here is this uh, Carrera Digital 132 Grand Victory Lane slot car set number 200, 319. This went out. I started at $250 at auction. It is complete. This one's 100% with a little bit of extra railing. That was cut. This one, I started 249 auction, got a second bid for 255, <clears throat> sold, and they paid right away. This came from that slot car buy for $1,100 that we did. I think we've made our money back already. Have we're we? right at 1100 right now. So we're right at it. Then the rest of the stuff that sells is going to be pure profit. It's funny about that is we've sold two sets that were 132nd scale. Both of them, we started at two forty nine ninety nine. Both of them got a bid, and both of them sold for two fifty five. Yeah. Both of them got two bids, I should say. Both two fifty five even. I wonder if that's like the minimum bid once you're up that high. Five dollars. Yeah. yeah it five dollars and one cent apparently. All right, this was a sale out of the blue. Yeah. I'm not gonna take it out of the box. So you can have to look at it at the picture. It's a Giuseppe Armani. Let's see these boxes like that. Giuseppe Armani has come in multiple different boxes. Um, there's blue one, there's a brown one, there's, there's a bunch of different ones. This is number 0745-E. It's a little... What the heck is that word? Period. Little... Period with what? Period with daisies. So, yeah... I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a mime clown yeah, looking figure. Yeah, it looks like a gesture, but it's not. It's a, definitely a clown looking thing. You this can is see in the screenshot. brand new in the box. It's sold for $90 plus shipping. So that was an awesome one that came through. I love that. Every time one of those This next goes, one was even awesome. cooler to me. I didn't think that was going to go. Uh, Ryan listed this. You tell him about it. Again, you're not going to see it. We uh, don't have the tubes long enough, but we did use utilize the tube that we have for this poster. It is a vintage Beatles poster. We had two of them that somehow survived the the tote that had all the other stuff in it. They got little crinkles and stuff, but no tack marks, no rips on them. Uh, this is 36 by 24 and a half. It's a Beatles poster by Yarn Yarn Bienkamp. Mm -hmm. um, just depicts the Beatles in a piece of artwork kind of thing. Uh, I couldn't find this one. So I just priced it. The other one I listed for like twenty four or, or twenty five bucks, and I had seen other ones of that one. That was from nineteen seventy seven. This one's from nineteen seventy five. I just priced it up a little bit at forty. For all I know, it was worth a hundred. I have no idea, right. but I'll take forty dollars for a, a poster all day long. And you said someone messaged about it. Yeah, I was actually gonna go on the messages right you now. You can see in the screenshot what it looks like. Okay, I'm not gonna unroll. Uh, this the guy that purchased it yesterday, uh, Beatles poster right here. He says, hello, I just bought this vintage Beatle poster from you and I absolutely cannot wait to get it. Just one question, we'll be shipping it in a protective tube. And I said, we'll be shipping it in a protective box, yada, yada, yada. And then he writes back, I've been waiting to find this poster for decades and I appreciate it so much. Yeah, I, we're gonna cancel the order and jack up the price. Yeah, shoop. Sure. No, that's cool though, because anytime we can, we have an item like that's two that this guy wants to know the nostalgia behind this model mm -hmm. and then we got a guy that so i'm looking for this looking poster for this poster decades. forever you know and i say guy loosely i don't know if it's a guy or a girl but uh next is a rare 
We have two of them. <laughs> elephant, right? Yeah. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Rare 1993. This is an elephant brooch by Swarovski. It's actually pretty nice. It's got an elephant there, and the trunk is all rhinestoned out in Swarovski crystal. It's all gold tone. It's brand new. Like, And we actually have a quantity. We have a, another one downstairs. I opened both of them up because I didn't know there was a quantity. Yeah. And I was like... But yeah, this sold again out of the blue. Another thing that didn't have uh, a lot of interest for a couple weeks or whatever. So for another $40 plus shipping item. And uh, just so you know, these Swarovskis come, these small ones like this come in packaging like that. You'll see the little Super swan with the SCS. A lot of people might not know what it is. If they have it kicking around their house or a state or something like that, they might just put it out and not know exactly you might be able to pick it up so remember that packaging all right this next thing here th these are going out i didn't even want to list these and this is the third one we've sold third one, yeah. this is a leather necktie <clears throat> this one's like leopard print white these are vintage around the neck ten dollars free shipping on those would make five six bucks i think there's only two like red ones left yeah so all said and done we're gonna make 40 50 dollars on those things so that's pretty cool Okay, we got a Kershaw set here. There's a couple knives, and then what's that? Like a flashlight. It looks like a yeah, little flat a cylinder keychain. Cinder knife, TX tool, and a three and a half inch pocket clip knife. Assisted opening. These have survived a couple of like eight percent off, ten percent off sales, and then ended up selling for full price for thirty dollars plus shipping on these. And that's how we ended the sales. Yep. So it was like every couple hours I'd check eBay and we'd have one or two additional sales and some good ones. I love $30, $40 sales because oh, those too. add up so ding, freaking ding, quick. Swarovski. And then that freaking $90 yeah. uh, Armani coming just through. through. We knew the slots were going to sell. We knew the prisoners were going to, the forgotten prisoner were going to sell. Everything else was a bonus. Either listed for a while or uh, this to me was a bonus. Little. Just take up no room at all in those totes, and then boom, you make thirty dollars. You see that so. Garfield video I listed yesterday? It's got two watchers at eighty bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. The cassette or yeah. not the cassette? Radio, the radio, yeah, and headphones. Yeah. yeah, so two watchers now eighty bucks. So I'm glad we priced it up. Yeah, so now we need to ship all this stuff. My father's coming over around nine, which is in forty minutes, uh, and then uh, Paul's gonna run to the post office, drop off some keys, and then just list. Yeah, uh, I think so. I don't have much plans, so. Yeah, and then me and him are going to go shopping and well, buy all the yeah, electrical stuff. Yeah, it's not going to take you an hour to go shopping. I'll go to the post office, come back here. Yeah. And us, you know. All right, yeah, so uh, that's it, you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll have Paul's daughter end the video. Hopefully tomorrow we can film another one of uh, another solid day worth of sales. So thank you very much. Say Resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.